All right, I'm back inside on the bench with the uh, replace clock spring. So let me uh, go through the uh, testing that I did for the other one before I installed it. So we got about two rows of eight or four pins on this side, and then you got all these pins here, uh, right here. Let me. I'm hoping I can get on the camera. So I'm putting it in front of me just so it's easier for me to work on here. So basically you want to check continuity and I basically started with this one I can you can turn it this way. Um, so what I do is go to the first pin here make sure I get a good uh, that's why I got bent a little bit because I press a little too hard. These things are very soft. So then you start going to the. Ah, uh, oh, come on. Through the pins on the other side here. Let's see if there's any continuity. Sure enough, this one doesn't have any, but my pen just went all the way to the uh, back there. So use the back to touch each pin instead of the front so you don't bend it. it. Takes a while to get going, but so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. On the first pin I got no continuity. And then we go to the second one. This is the tricky part because you gotta make sure you are on it or you won't get anything. Uh, so, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Second pin, I got nothing either. So, let's go to the third. Um, you want to try and be right on the pin. If not, it's just kind of confuse you. And that's the tricky part because there's no easy way to do this here. So, okay, we got one, two. Okay, this one has continuity. So the third pin has continuity. Okay, let's check the fourth one. So there is one that doesn't, I mean, uh, from the beginning, there's no continuity there, so. And then, I already know this one's bad because um, my buttons weren't working. So, without going through all that again, let's see if we can open it up. And uh, try to see what's in here uh, without breaking it. Okay, let's see here. I want to take this out. <clears throat> okay, I can leave this side alone, I think. And then just take the clips on the other side. They're all plastic, but definitely need some tools here. So let me grab a flat screwdriver and a Phillips, and I think that might be it. Let's try this again. What do we have in here? Okay. All right, time out. 
again. Well, next time I guess I'll just stub the tape. Sorry. Okay, let's try that again. Alright, so what's behind this door number one? Uh, nothing. I can't even get it out. Alright, we'll leave it alone. Let's try to get this puppy out without breaking it. Uh, that's a tough one. Okay, I'm trying to get those tabs out without breaking them. So let's see here. It's like you gotta do all three at the same time. Alright, well, let's try that. Sorry about that. It's just that it's not three, it's actually four of them. And I only got so many hands here. Come on, buddy, get in there. Oh, wow, that's, that's tricky. I get it without making a making it go everywhere. Okay. Come on. I see the uh, ribbon cable here, so how do I get it out of here without breaking it? I don't know. Huh. Kind of does.
Okay. I got put back in there. So it looks like actually go out from this side. Buddy, wake up. That's why I can't lift it. All right, now it's good. Yes, there we go. Ribbon cable. Actually, this ribbon cable is actually very short. Huh. That's interesting. This ribbon cable is just like less than a foot. But. Pain to uh, try to solder this part, but it's crease here, so let's keep checking it. Ah. All right, I need to take these out. So you take it out. this again of the uh, cable.
was wrong. It's a little bigger, longer than a foot. Not that long though. So it rolls counterclockwise. All right. Let's see. Uh, there's just grease on these. Take this out. Okay, that goes in there. So here is our clock spring. Now, question is, how do I get this out of here? You can't. trying to do is find a break somewhere along the cable but I want to take it out so that it's easier to work on There we go. That's how you do it, right here.
the only problem. Which pin is which? All right, we got it. This uh, called one. It's the one other way over here on the uh, outside. So that one's working. Let's check out number two. Two is good. One is good. Three. Three is good. Four. Four is not good. Five. Five is good. I think. Come on. Six. Not good. Seven. Not good. Eight. Not good. All right, so I have continuity on some, but not others. Problem is where the break is. That's kind of the million dollar question. Um, it can be repaired, but it's gonna be 
a little more tedious. I'm just gonna take more time. So for now, I'm just gonna leave it at that. I know some are working as long as I can see the. Uh, or now that as long as I know which one's one, at least on each side, I can go a little further in. But uh, at this point, I'm just gonna leave it at that, and I'll see if I can do some more on this later. That's your I'm back and well, this is what the clock spring from the uh, Nissan looks like and I was able to get everything out as you can see and take a closer look at it and from doing a little more testing here it looks like my problem is right about here uh, if I can get that right let me double check um, yeah it looks like right there because I have three or four lines that are not working and it looks like there's a crease in here I don't know from what, but it uh, matches the uh, lines that are not working, so I don't know if I can get that on the camera there, but you can see that there, so that could be uh, my problem, I can't even feel it here, that is probably most likely the problem is because I don't have any other issues anywhere that I can see. There's also another crease here but this one seems to be just a bend. This one looks more like a crease. Uh, keep losing my spot here. Right there. Um, so I think the problem is right there. I may be able to solder that but that's kind of a, a tough spot to do just because it's right across on all three lines on the same spot so that would be one of the issues there uh, trying to get that solder there without soldering all the three lines together uh, and two is putting this back because it's it's a bit of a pain but it can't come off and as you can see or I, I can't come apart easily and it's about I don't know maybe two feet long so it's not like a huge amount of uh, uh, what do you call it I want to say tape but it's not tape uh, this piece here hey, anyways um, a ribbon cable so it's not it's pretty easy to deal with but uh, trying to fix something like this that would be making sure that it doesn't touch each other well it could work but I never done it so I need to uh, see if I can do it just for for fun and here is the uh, other pieces that go in here or from here now that one I think it was this yeah that one's from there this piece is from here so they do come apart which is okay and as you can see the cables are work that way and uh, that's pretty much what a clock spring is it's got this middle piece here and then you got this piece there um, that little bump here there's nothing on the back there so it's just a rubber oh there you go just a little rubber piece that's on there for the guides um, 
So, and then these are the uh, clips from here. Uh, is it from here? Yep. They go in there. Anyways, excuse me. Um, I don't know. There's not much else you can look at other than the main part is the cable here and how it goes in there. So I just left it in here so I don't lose track of which end goes where. Um, the ones with the cable go on the uh, this side here. And obviously trying to keep the uh, ribbon cable from getting folded and making more issues. That's the only thing uh, that you gotta be careful about. But uh, yeah, I can I can feel that crease pretty bad, and I can even see it. You can even see that line. So most likely that's the problem there. I did test that, and it looks like those are the uh, the tracks that are broken. Um, maybe if I get a chance, I, I'll play with it and see if I can get it fixed. But uh, other than that, it's just a ribbon cable, or you can get another one or a cheaper one and uh, brand new and just swap the cables if you really wanted to do that but that would be more work than just swapping the whole unit um, obviously I don't know if it's going to be any good but with the aftermarket uh, version but uh, there you go I don't want to make this too long since there's not much else to look at here alright uh, I hope that gives you at least an idea of what's in there on the Nissan Sentra uh, 2008 uh, clock spring.